This is A game, fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Eyes, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, Femininity Coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what we'll we talking about today, we are going back into why Black women love the Jezebel spirit, the Sierra and Russell edition, because Sierra's back at it again, and Russell appears to advocate or support his wife's behavior. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go ahead and play the little video uh, minus the sound. I'm not going to do the sound because I don't know if it got music on it or what. But you don't need to hear the sound. You just need to see it. And I'm going to read the accompanying article and then we will be back with my perspective. Okay, so as you can see the little video, she's twerking or whatever with a bottle of rum on her head. She's topless. She's turned away from the camera. Um, right. And she posted this, I do believe, on Instagram, a whole married woman. All right. Sierra twerks topless with a bottle of rum on her head for the balance challenge. She bets you want her goodies. The 36-year-old singer left little to the imagination when she shared a clip of herself twerking in nothing but an orange sarong. She got balanced, Sierra captioned in an Instagram video on Thursday, which showed her shaking her booty and balancing a bottle of rum on her head like a total pro. Yeah, pro is right. Her caramel tresses fell down her bare back as she crouched down on the beach and turned away from the camera to showcase her sexy moves. See you later tonight after work. Ha ha. Her NFL star hubby, Russell Wilson, commented on the post, adding heart emojis to the cheeky remark. The athlete who wed Sierra in 2016 recently penned a heartfelt tribute to his wife in honor of her 36th birthday. Perfect in every way God made you for me, the Seattle Seahawks quarterback 33 wrote in October. He made you to fit perfectly in my arms, made you to be the amazing woman and mother you are. God made you to entertain the world with your gift to sing and dance. Wilson continued, he gifted you with the ability to tilt the room. And when you walk in, all the furniture slides towards you. He gifted you with the ability to smile and bring joy to all things. Gifted you with the ability to love. Happy birthday, my queen, Sierra. Sierra returned the kind words when her man celebrated his 33rd birthday earlier this month. I wake up every day excited to love you. Every day with you feels like a celebration. And today is a big celebration, she wrote in an Instagram tribute. Okay. So we saw the display and I read the article to you. Um... Where's Russell Wilson's spiritual value at? Where's his spiritual value? Because see, Sierra has never claimed ever since she hit the scene in the early 2000s, um, singing and dancing as a performer. Sierra has never, to my knowledge, ever claimed to be particularly religious or of any particular spiritual inclination. Like that wasn't part of her persona. She never had a persona where she was the Christian girl or anything like that. She was just Sierra. She was just Sierra the singer. You know, she danced, she performed. She had her time in the spotlight or whatever. And then, you know, it faded away. Um, she became future, one of, one of, Future's baby mamas, interestingly enough. But during the time between after her stardom or what have you, and that began to decline, 
Sierra wasn't in a whole lot of celebrity news, not not in a real big way, not in any way that most people was like, man, Sierra's doing this, Sierra's doing that. Um, however, the spiritual value component was definitely part of Russell's persona. Russell Wilson definitely hit the scene as a Christian. Russell Wilson's persona, it was very much a part of his persona to have Christianity, right? Outside, it was, it was one of his actually defining traits outside of his athletic prowess and his athletic achievements, okay? So everybody knew, knew Russell as the good Christian boy. You know, he wasn't cursing. He wasn't drinking. You know, he wasn't out with the scrippers. You know, and all of this other type of stuff. He was the he was the straight laced, you know, good boy, all American quarterback. That was Russell's persona when he hit the NFL, and that's how people came to know him. So that was actually the first issue where people kind of raised their eyebrows, like you marrying Sierra. Not that there was necessarily at first anything just wrong with that. Like people kind of took issue with it because she was future's baby mama. But like it was like, well, we don't know that this is quite the woman. You didn't seem like you would pick this woman, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, to be your wife, considering your Christian background and your supposed Christian values that you live by. And this woman don't necessarily live by them values. I mean, we don't know what values she got, but she ain't never went nowhere and said she had a bunch of Christian values either. Okay. So now here we are in 2021. Um, and he appears to condone her behavior because much like Ahab, he can't check it. Like Ahab couldn't check Jezebel. Russell can't check Sierra. And the reason why he can't check Sierra is because his spiritual value is corrupted his spiritual value is it it's it's there's a word specifically that i'm looking for not corrupted it's anyway i spent forever looking for that word but it's not in good shape his spiritual value is is i keep wanting to say corrupted but it's right at the tip of my tongue compromised that's why it's compromised. He's compromised spiritually. He was compromised the day he got with this woman and, invi and, and invited her into his life. Because his spiritual value must have been compromised prior to her, he couldn't establish it as you adopt my value system, not yours. I'm not going to adopt yours. You adopt mine. See, and that's the issue. That was Ahab's problem. He knew better. He had a value system, but it had it was compromised. And it was compromised in the very fact of him marrying Jezebel. Ai was the king. He could have married anybody. But and he could have married a woman from among the Israelites, but he went to get a Sidonian woman that was all that was a that was a, a pagan, an idolater, and married her. And instead of her conforming to his value system, he began to conform to her value system. And like Ahab again, Russell know better. He knows that her behavior is unacceptable, but he's ultimately fallen to the worship of Sierra. So now everything that she do, he got to he got a thumbs up. He got to be like it's okay. He got to do that because at this point, he can't stop her. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He going to tell her to stop, she going to stop. She didn't send him a provocative thing. She sent the world, all of her millions of IG followers. She, she posted that publicly like any old IG thought would have done. Any, she all in these challenges like any old IG thought. Any old street thought. Any old street 304 with an IG uh, uh, profile could put that up. She ain't did nothing no more, no more special or better than your average hood chick would have done. And this is a woman that's supposed to be married to not only a high earning man, but a high value man, meaning a man with higher 
morals and value system. But the deal about women like Sierra, women like Jada Pinkett Smith, women like Gabrielle Union, they erode the legacy by making him look bad, by not representing him the way he represent himself. She erode his legacy. And see the world that we live in now because so many rule by this Jezebel spirit don't see nothing wrong with what Sierra do. But Jezebel eroded Ahab's legacy. He went down as an infamous king. Not a good king. He went down in infamy. As a king that was following the ill words of a wayward wife. That could, he couldn't run his kingdom good because he was sitting up under the skirt of a woman. A woman that didn't have his good in mind, nor hers, nor his people. She only had her own selfish motives. That's all she did. Everything Jezebel did was for her. She didn't do anything that worked for the good of her husband or that worked for the good of the kingdom that he presided over. Nothing. She destroyed his legacy. Ahab's sons was destroyed. Due to the previous actions of Jezebel. See, I didn't get, get into that. You got to read the Bible to get the rest of the story. Her actions had long standing effects generationally. It wasn't just her and Ahab and it stopped there. It visited their sons. The trouble kept coming because of the decisions that Ahab had made underneath her guidance really and Sierra doing the same thing Russell had a squeaky clean image now he's a laughing stock Russell had a squeaky clean image of not dealing with 304s and his wife for 304 he wasn't up there dealing with strippers his wife is stripping in public shame her husband bring shame to her husband I don't care how many thumbs up he put I don't care how many people be like, oh, you know, what well, her husband, like, oh, whatever, whatever. She's not representing him the way he has represented himself as an upstanding, God-fearing man that was raised on morals and values, that his life is successful, and, you know, he didn't got to the NFL, one of the top quarterbacks, he don't want a ring, you know, and all of this, and these are high achievements, especially when we talk about worldly achievements. And he had done so on the groundwork that he was an upstanding man morally. Then to get with an immoral woman that decides no matter that my husband is this upstanding Christian, I'm going to completely do something the opposite of that. That's literally like the pastor and the first lady and she got her only fans. Why do the first lady of the church got her OnlyFans? Like what? This is the same thing. She might as well have her OnlyFans. She twerking topless. What's, what's the difference? Who gonna explain this to her children? Yes, yeah, Sierra can dance and all that. Dance then. Twerking is not dancing. If she was doing real dance challenges to actually show off her dancing ability, it actually wouldn't be that scandalous. It was like, oh, well, Sierra, I've been knew how to dance. We, everybody knows Sierra know how to dance. You don't see Beyonce doing it. Sorry, not sorry. And I'm not really absolving Beyonce of a lot of her foolishness either because her songs was foolishness. But when you take a look at her personal actions, between her and Jay-Z, Beyonce not get nowhere on, on no twerk contest. She ain't on, on IG posting stuff like a thought. She better not. She know she better not misrepresent Jay-Z at all. She know better. She know better. She know not to get nowhere and, and embarrass Jay-Z. Them uh, public posts is very much curated. Okay, very much watched. No, don't post that. No, you can't post that. Okay, that's okay. 
You can post that. You think I'm lying? But Sierra don't got no problem embarrassing her husband, not to do Jada, not to do Gabrielle, to get out here and do whatever, say whatever, say anything, make put egg on their husband's face every day. This is the modern day Jezebel. Tear kingdom down with her illicit actions. And the first thing that she do is undermine the spiritual value. All the rest of the chaos come first with it. She undermined Russell's spiritual value. And now he can't stop her chaos. She going to tear that man down. He already a laughing stock. Can't get respect among his peers now. She don't care about that. Sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye bye, Crimsonites. Hey guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.